All right, guys, it's Kevin. I'm over here at our Lakeside Buggy store in Frisco, Texas, and it's finally time to talk about the Mad Jacks X Series. I've got the X Series here next to an Avita's golf cart. We did build about, uh, I think, 20 of these, um, and now we've gone to the Mad Jacks X Series. There's a lot of reasons for that. Number one, it's a lot faster and easier to build a golf cart that comes mostly already built. Number two, the suspension. So these golf carts are not going to have an actual front suspension. They've just got a front track bar. That's an Avitas cart. Your Mad Jax X Series is going to have a full coilover suspension system using McPherson struts. It also has four wheel disc brakes. So you'll see that disc brake there on both sides and your lower control arm. The Vitas golf carts don't come with disc brakes and they are very fast golf carts. There's no doubt about that. Super, super fast carts. No brakes, no real suspension. Your Mad Jacks is going to have also a rear coilover as well. So you have a full rear suspension with a rear track bar, rear leaf spring, rear coilover. Our Mad Jacks X Series golf carts actually have eco battery lithium batteries in them. Huge upgrade over the Reliance lithium batteries. I highly recommend you consider only going with eco battery when you buy one of these. And make sure you ask your dealer what kind of battery that these are going to come with because the video I'm going to show you today and the drive that this cart does is totally different in every way than one that has a Reliance battery in it. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. We've got my uh, X Series right here. Okay, I've, I was going to change the wheels out so I don't have the center caps on. I was going to put a different set of the 15s on there. I did customize this a little bit. I've got the Century, uh, the Double Take Century dash on it. So, kind of moves the cockpit around a little bit. I've got a billet steering wheel on mine. A storage pocket here. I did need to cut in my, my gauge. I, did, I never got around to cutting in the gauge. I kind of gave up and moved on to something else that day, but that's all right. I'll get to it eventually. And this is the graphite color. This is a black one here with white seats. These Colorado seats, they have black stitching in them. It's a really, really cool offset color to just all white. Also, you don't have to worry so much about the white getting dirty. Headlights are gonna have the deluxe light kit with them. So that's gonna be the RGB color changing lights. The Navitas golf carts, they can have that, but ours don't. And a lot of the people that are building those didn't use that, I'm sure. One of the cool things about the X-Series golf carts though is that all of these are factory installed parts. So you've got 14 inch GTW Bravos. Sorry, one sec. That was kind of loud. You got 14 inch GTW Bravos on this one. And these are the OEM wheels. This is how we ordered and spec this golf cart. These can be swapped out for any number of other wheels. So you've got the 15 inch flow form devolution. You've got a 15 inch GTW Spider in red. You've got a blue set over there as well. You've got the Bravo, um, or sorry, the Raven, all different types of Bravos and 15s. You know, guys, there, there's a lot of different wheel options for these carts. And here in our store, we're gonna let you swap them out to whatever wheel that you want, as long as we have it here in stock. If it's not in stock, you're gonna have to either pick what's on the cart that you have right in front of you, or find another wheel that you like that's in stock. That's another wheel option, the 15 inch Raven in gray. So let's look at the dash. One of the first things you're gonna notice about the, the Magix X-Series dash is gonna be the rotary shifter from Alliance. Super sweet little shift knob, allows you to forward reverse just like that. Key switch. Now, if you have an eco battery lithium battery, you'll have the eco battery gauge here. You'll have a Bluetooth port here. And these blue lights can be turned off and on. So if they bother you, you can turn them off. No big deal. You've got a custom Mad Jax Guzzi steering wheel. Really comfortable in the hand. These carts will come with a convex rear view mirror. So you can see everything behind you. Nice feature that it comes with these cars. This one has the red dot triple track roof. Well, they all do. They're all gonna come with a red dot triple track roof which means you can add additional accessories like grab bars, sound bar attachments, uh, enclosures are really easy to mount to these. Really, really cool. The Genesis 250 back seat kit, storage pocket down here, your tailgate will kind of allow you to use that whole back area, kind of like a little, uh, 
little storage area. It's, it's really cool. I like to have that much storage. I mean, it's super deep, goes all the way down in there. I think back in here in the bottom, we've got a uh, owner's manual, a charger, some other things. The Genesis 250 back seat kit has a really cool feature that I don't know if a lot of people know about. So I'm going to show you real quick. You've, you've got the deluxe wide grab bar, which is great. But how many times have you had a situation where you're in the garage and you need to actually get more space? So the Genesis 250 has four pins. You pull them out and you can take this seat all the way vertical. Check that out. So that gives you an extra two to three feet in the back of your garage. To park this thing, you can back this golf cart all the way up to a wall. Super, super awesome feature. One of my favorite features on these carts. And then, of course, the custom ability of these. I mean, we've got digital dashes for these. We've got custom dashes. We've got CarPlay wireless. We've got uh, Android Auto wireless. Or you can just go really simple and get a really nice Eco X gear soundbar. Which is probably what I'll be doing on this one here, just for the sake of ease. Um, but one thing I think a lot of people are curious about is, is programming, tuning, how they ride, how they drive. And so that's what we're going to do here today. I'm going to pause the video for a sec and I'm going to go ahead and move some of these cars out of my way so I can get this cart outside and we'll take it for a ride. See you in a sec. All right, guys, I'm back and I've got everything moved out of the way. Doors are open. It's time to take the X-Series for a ride. A lot of people are curious how great the suspension rides compared to the Navitas golf carts. And I'm here to tell you right now, it's a night and day difference. You really can't even compare the two because they're just such a different suspension setup. But if you didn't realize this, the Navitas has a five kilowatt motor. So does the Magex. Magex is gonna have a five kilowatt motor with a 400 amp Reliance controller. And the controller is programmable. So I've got this one here. I've used the Reliance app and I've programmed it to go about 30 miles an hour. I'll tell you right now, when I got this cart originally, I wasn't sure exactly how I liked it other than the fact that it rode so good. It only went 20 miles an hour. The brakes, the regen just didn't really seem to do much for me. Uh, a few other little complaints about it, but plugged in the Bluetooth controller with the uh, dealer diagnostic tool and did the same thing with this one that we're going to do with some of the others that we've got in the showroom. I changed the acceleration, turned up the regen, and I changed the top speed. And this thing's a little rocket ship, so I want to take you guys for a ride. Let's take a quick walk around it and look at it here in the sun. It's a really, really good looking golf cart, guys. If you have one of these in your neighborhood, you have the best looking golf cart in the neighborhood. The seats are ridiculously comfortable. The white seats, I like them. They're not for everybody, that's for sure. There's quite a few seat options and you don't have to go with white. This one has white seats. So let's take it for a ride. I'm sure we've been on other videos here in the Frisco area and you remember how bumpy and rough all the roads are. So this would be a good test. Get this windshield flipped up so you don't have to listen to all the road noise. All right, guys, here we go. On the Mad Jacks X Series golf cart. Now you're gonna hear a little bit of noise from the back because I never put the pins back in when I pulled them out for the back seat to flip up. Check out this cool rubber floor mat with the X's on it, guys. Isn't that nice? Very cool touch on the X Series. So ignore the little bit of noise you hear in the back. That is, uh, that is some missing pins for the back seat. Got them all sitting down in here. And uh, I guess I could put them in, but I'm not going to. So here we go. So like I said, I programmed this. You can hear that AC motor just whining, screaming. We're still going, still accelerating here. A little more in this but that's what we're doing right now but guys look how smooth this thing is i mean good lord it's so smooth the ride quality is just unreal the steering wheel is really light when i come to a stop here the light i'm going or the stop sign i'm actually going to show you i can turn the steering wheel with one finger i mean it's insane how smooth and light the steering is on these golf carts watch this watch this one finger just literally just so smooth with the turning on these steering wheels Big old 15 inch off-road tires and I can turn it with a finger. 
underway, it's even smoother. Acceleration is great. This is a five kilowatt motor, so this is not a slouch at all. This has got the Eco Battery lithium battery factory installed. We also have lead acid battery kits for about $2,000 less. Let's check the brakes out on it. Ready? Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful braking. All right, guys. Let's take it for a little ride in this. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this thing just moves. Such a fun golf cart to ride around in. Now I don't have any custom upgrades on this yet. I mean, this is completely, completely stock. I mean, there's not a single thing on this that was aftermarket. No stereo, no upgraded lights, uh, nothing. And it just it rides so good, guys. Let's get out and look at it for another second. I mean, it's just such a crazy cool looking golf cart. Oh man. That is a good looking cart. All right, here we go. Now, I am a pretty big guy. I weigh about 270 pounds or so. And I've got plenty of room in here. I don't feel cramped. I don't feel squished. The, the pedals are in the right spot. So a lot of carts, we've got pedals almost in the middle between the driver and the passenger. It's one of the most annoying things ever. This car does not have that. Brakes work really well with the regen turned up. A lot of people were complaining about that, but once they've been turned up, we've had really good luck with the brakes working well. God, this thing just wants to fly. <laughs> it just wants to move. Take you for, I'm gonna take you guys for a ride down here by the lake because this is a rougher area where the road just kind of gets really choppy. We got another video on uh, YouTube. I think an icon going down here towards the lake. And this road is just, that's just a beating. So, it may seem like this cart's bouncing or moving around a lot, but we're gonna take it again in the Navitas golf cart here in a minute. And uh, we're gonna see really what the major differences are gonna be. It's a lot smoother than it was in the Navitas, that's for sure. Now, there's a lot of windshield noise coming from my windshield being flipped down. So it's either it squeaks a little up there with it up or we're gonna hear a lot of wind noise. So we're going with the ladder of squeaking while it's up. This thing is hauling ass, guys. Here we go. Let's stop. Let's take a break. Last second stop. <laughs> Those brakes work nice. Something about having four wheel disc brakes on a nice golf cart with, you know, some really powerful motor on it. It just seems like an important way to go. I'm going to flip this windshield down real quick. There we go. Now we can get rid of that little noise that we were hearing. There's a little plastic spacer that goes in the windshield rid of most of that noise. This road is insanely bad. A lot of construction. It's going to bring out all the squeaks and rattles. <laughs> look at that, guys. I mean, look at that. Look at the giant pothole. Giant pothole. This is the smoothest riding suspension of any golf cart I've ever been on in my entire life. This road is a nightmare. And this golf cart's taking it really well. And it's hauling ass while we're doing it. I mean, guys, this is, this is awesome. Oh my goodness. This road is absolutely atrocious, guys. <laughs> this, this, is, this is no video joke, no, no gimmicks. This road is absolutely atrocious. I'm gonna put this windshield down. Squeaking is driving me nuts, but that's okay. The squeaks are pretty easy to fix. Uh, in fact, this one has 
an issue with the way that we put it together. These spacers should not be here. So that's something I'll fix when I get back. Um, a lot of people were complaining about these front windshields falling off and not fitting. And that is exactly because when they are assembled, they come with a spacer here. The truth is you need to actually take that spacer out when you assemble these. So I'll take that out when I get back to the shop and I'll adjust it. And I may throw it back in the video here at the very end of this one. All right, I'm gonna make a quick U-turn here. This road, man, this road is terrible. Here we go. Speed limit on this road is 35, so. I don't know how fast that truck's going, but we are right behind him. Actually, off, I'm off the throttle right now, so we don't run into the back of him because I think we're actually faster than he is. He can't go too fast on this road, probably, because this road's garbage. But, guys, I mean, hopefully you can see from this video just how smoothly this X-Series golf cart rides. Yes, it's a brand new golf cart. There are some things for everybody to learn about it. There were a few little hiccups right off of the bat. That doesn't, to me, that doesn't take away from the awesomeness of what this unit is and what it will be. Um, it's an exciting new thing. And just like with any new thing, the big problems are really gonna start coming out whenever they get into people's hands. Um, if a spacer right there is, is the biggest issue so far that most people have seen, take it out, tighten the windshield frame back up, enjoy, because this is a great golf cart. If yours isn't running as quickly as this, I suggest you get with your dealer and have them reprogram it for you because it is night and day having it reprogrammed. And it's a super simple programming. It takes a few seconds. We try to do it on all of our golf carts that we get out of our shop. If you do the programming though, just be aware, you're gonna be draining your battery quick. So if you turn the speed all the way up, you turn the acceleration all the way up, you're gonna be using a lot more battery than these things will at 20 miles an hour. You can just hear the AC motor just screaming. So again, we're having to go off throttle so we don't run into the back of this guy here. If it gives you any idea of how fast we're actually going, we may even be able to pass it. This road's a lot better. Brakes work awesome, guys. The brakes work incredibly on these. guys a lot of fun and it looks amazing too i'm gonna back it right back into the shop and just like that guys we're back So there it is, the X-Series. 
the X series from Mad Jacks. They come, this is how they come. There's not any assembly. It doesn't come as a frame like an Avitas cart where you're putting the body together and buying all the parts that you would from Mad Jacks. And that comes with some benefits. And let me start with the fact that when you're getting a Mad Jacks or you're, when you're getting an Avitas cart, you never know how the person that built it built it. We had custom seats made for ours. So I'm thinking ours are pretty nice. They're still a little less expensive than the Mad Jacks. Um, we did put a lot of time and effort and love into these, but we had to make it a price point. So, you know, you've got AGM batteries for one, right? The back seat kits, again, had to make this a price point. Although the seats we used are really nice, we used a less expensive seat kit. We used the basic GTW seat kit because it wanted we wanted to keep the price point down. Wheels and tires, we went with a 12 inch, 23 inch off-road tire, 12 inch wheel, price point. Similar steering wheel to the Mad Jacks, a little bit different, but similar. We put these little dash covers on our Navitas carts. These are your pedals. You don't have an automatic parking brake like the Mad Jacks does. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm a fan. The Mad Jacks carts got the GT, the, the uh, red dot triple track roof system. We used a rocks roof system. I think the red dot roofs were out of stock whenever we built our carts. But again, the number one difference is gonna be that suspension and ride quality. So we're gonna go take this Navitas cart for a ride. I don't think I'm gonna drive it for as long or as far, but I'm gonna take it for a ride with you guys for a little bit. So here in the Navitas cart, turn your key on, the dash kicks on. You get to see the Navitas logo pop up, which is really cool. I do wish the Mad Jacks had a gauge on it. Um, if I had to complain about something, it would be that. <clears throat> but, uh, okay, so we know the Navitas carts are quick. They've got a 600 amp controller, which is more powerful than anything else. That's all there is to it. That is the most powerful aftermarket controller on the market. The Navitas carts are fast. And they still serve a really good purpose for a guy that wants to go fast. Fit and finish on the Navitas carts is definitely not as nice depending on who built it or how it was built as the uh, Mad Jacks carts. I think there's more regen braking on this though. I can feel the regen really kicking in pretty hard here. You, see, you can hear that same AC whine. We're not going as fast. Actually, I think the uh, Mad Jacks was accelerating faster. Lithium over lead acid though, so that's, that's that. We're going about 20, I think, right now. I mean, these don't ride terribly. It's a very simple design on the suspension system. It's been around for 30 years. They don't ride terrible, so please don't get me wrong. They're not garbage golf carts. It's just not the same ride as the Mad Jacks. A lot of people take these and turn them all the way up. It's not tells you you're going 25. A lot of people turn these all the way up. They're going 40, 45 miles an hour, but they don't have any brakes. Guys, these things barely stop. The only braking system you have is the regenerative braking on the motor and the rear drums. So the regen brakes do quite a bit, but the rear brakes don't do a whole, whole lot. So coming to a stop from 45 miles an hour is pretty difficult. We're gonna go down this, this bumpy road over here. We're not going nearly as fast as we were in the Mad Jacks. That I can tell right away. I don't have a speedometer on it, but I mean, gosh, it was flying. It felt like we were going 45. Let's do a brake test here. We're going much slower. Oh, the brakes actually locked on me because of the parking brake pedal. So that's fun. So, okay, I smashed the brake all the way to the ground. The rear tire's locked up. We go sliding. That's fun. So the harder you push the brake, the more ability you have to lock the uh, the rear brake, but not necessarily to stop. Okay. 
I mean, I'm pushing real hard to get that thing to stop. That's all right, though. I mean, there are brake kits you can buy for these and upgrade them. You can buy a front lift kit with the front suspension and coilovers, too, from Jake's, and you can throw some brakes right onto that. I mean, it's not an inexpensive upgrade, but it's an upgrade available. So if you've already got one of these Avitas golf carts and you want to upgrade it, give us a shout. We sell the parts. We can hook you right up. Rocks makes a really cool lift kit as well. The seven inch BMF uh, coilover suspension. You're gonna have to get rid of the disc brake idea, but. Take it for a ride down here by the lake. I can tell that this battery is already kind of getting more because we're accelerating a little slower each time I hit the pedal. Lithium is going to be a more powerful overall battery uh, during its 100% charge cycle. The power output is more linear, so you're going to receive the same amount of power and energy output with lithium. Whereas with lead acid, as your charge starts to deplete, kind of like this one here at 50%, then your power output starts to deplete along with it. We're impeding traffic right now. There's some cars back here behind me that I can tell are a little upset. I find that ironic because I think of the two golf carts, that the Navitas cart is actually the faster of the two. Uh, but after programming that Mad Jack's golf cart and driving it around, I'm starting to second guess that because that thing was moving pretty quickly. For example, no, nobody was passing us on, on that golf cart at all, were they? And this ride didn't seem to take so long. <laughs> Maybe I need to GPS the, the Magix to see how fast that really was. Of course, this can go faster. This has a Bluetooth app, and you can get in there and you can reprogram it. I, I can't do that right now because I'm making a video, so I'm not trying to do an unfair bias here. I'm really not, but um, I, the Magix was faster. That's, that's all there is to it right now. That's all I can say. That's one way to do it. All right, this road kind of starts getting a little bumpy and rough up here. Try to go through some of the same potholes that I did on the Mad Jacks. Just bump steered all the way out of control. There's cars coming here, so I'm not going to be able to hit those same divots I hit before. I'll have to do it on the way back. So let's go ahead and turn around. All right, guys, here we go. It's not, it's not nightmarish. I mean, it's not as comfortable, but it's not nightmarish. I mean, we do have a much larger diameter tire on this cart. We have a 23 inch tire with a 12 inch wheel versus a 14 inch wheel with a 23 inch tire. This is a lot more sidewall. Um, I wish we could be, you know, I wish we could get the speed up a little bit. It'd be like the same rubber. I'm wobbling all over the road a little bit. I have a feeling if we swapped wheels and tires and made all things even, though that the the uh, handling would improve on this quite a bit. But again, it's a price point thing. So the Navitas golf carts are great for what they are. They're less expensive than a Mad Jacks golf cart. They've got that Bluetooth programmable feature on them. We're definitely not going anywhere near as fast as that Magix was. I, and I, I do need to find out on the GPS exactly how fast it was going. I may do that actually. I'll probably fix the windshield. At the end of this video, I'll fix the windshield, uh, find a GPS app on my phone and take it back out for another ride and get an actual top speed on GPS because it, it was going much, much faster than this. 
and I'll just slap it into the very end of this video so you guys can check that out. Stay, stay around to the very end. It's over 100 degrees today. All right, guys, and we're back. Let's back her in. All right, guys, and we're back. Sorry about that. My phone cut off, but I wanted to show you how to remove this little spacer here. It's a very, very simple process. You're gonna need a socket and a ratchet. Let's see what size bolt we've got here. And we have a 12 millimeter bolt. So let's get our 12 millimeter socket. Oh, we're gonna need a 3 8 ratchet, which I think I have sitting on my desk. Need a ratchet. It's a 12 millimeter socket. You're gonna need something to hold the nut that's behind the, uh, the bolt there. So I'm gonna look for an adjustable wrench really quickly. Yeah, we'll just go with a good old fashioned wrench. So you'll need a 12 millimeter wrench more than likely, and it might be a 10, we'll find out in a second. You're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket, a ratchet, and a 13 millimeter wrench. I wasn't able to do this while recording because it does take both hands, but I'll show you exactly how you do it. So very simple. There is a 13 millimeter nut right back here. All right, you're gonna wanna put your wrench on that 13 millimeter nut, and then you're gonna put your 12 millimeter ratchet on the bolt. Easy. Now, you loosen it. I don't think I'll be able to finish this with one hand, but I'll try. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put the phone down, but guys, it's super easy to do. Just hold your wrench on the backside, loosen this bolt on the front, pull the spacer out and tighten it back up, and you're done. It takes five minutes. Okay, guys, I've got a wrench up inside here sitting on the back of that nut and I'm tightening this bolt. All right guys, so there you have it. Now the windshield is flush with the bracket. Spacer's out, windshield frame is tight. There's no more half inch gap here. Same thing on the other side. Spacer's out, no more half inch gap. Here. 13 millimeter wrench, a 12 millimeter socket and a ratchet in about five minutes and you're done. If you guys have any questions on it, feel free to ask me. Happy to answer it, but I think it's pretty straightforward. And now I'm gonna set this up for a GPS ride and get the top speed. All right, guys, I've got a little screenshot already. I just went 35 miles an hour. Um, I think my screenshot said 34, but right after I got off there to make the video again, it said 35. So we were in fact going 35 miles an hour and that's why it felt so fast in the Mad Jacks. Guys, I'm not suggesting that your dealer do this for you or that it's even all right. I'm telling you that it's possible for these Mad Jacks golf carts to go a lot faster than they come from the factory. You're going to need to use the dealer diagnostic tool for these golf carts and the Reliance app that you can download from the app store yourself. But guys, this is a 35 mile an hour golf cart now. And that's just absolutely, guys, we have over 22 of these in stock right now in seven different colors. We've got the uh, red, black, white, teal. Guys, these Mad Jacks golf carts are crazy awesome. I want you to come test drive one with me here in Frisco. If you don't like the black, that's all right. We have plenty more in Addison for you to purchase, but come out here to Frisco and take it for a test drive with me, guys. Lakeside Buggies, Frisco, Texas. My name is Kevin. Our phone number is 972-478-1332. Give us a shot, guys. Lakeside Buggies.